Local police officers are learning how to deal with mentally ill suspects. A new machine is giving them a 3D look into their mind. KXY 4's Eric Lone shows you the Mindstorm. Jack Brusick is experiencing a virtual hallucination. No, 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 don't answer. You're stupid to open that door. He's watching Mindstorm, a video that helps people understand what it might look, smell, and sound like to experience the symptoms of schizophrenia while at home. Don't eat it. Poison. Poison. The Mindstorm's goggles give you a 3D image of what that person might be seeing. And not only that, it also gives you smells. First you smell coffee, and then you smell something toxic. There's also a fan that blows in your face as if you're looking out the window. And finally, there's earphones where you hear the voices that that person might be hearing. Oh, I could feel myself getting into kind of the role of that individual. Uh, scary stuff. Mindstorm was provided by Janssen, a pharmaceutical company that makes drugs for the treatment of mental illness. The high-tech tool is offered as part of crisis intervention training taken by police officers, sheriff's deputies, and corrections officers to learn how to deal with people with mental illness. Spokane Police Lieutenant Judy Carl. When we have someone who's afflicted with mental illness, um, there are no outward signs. And, and so the more knowledge we have, the better able we are to discern whether this is something that is a, a criminal activity or this involves somebody who is afflicted with mental illness. I know when I first started years ago, uh, it, we had mental health issues, but nothing like uh, we're seeing now, uh, especially with drug-induced psychosis, with methamphetamine. Brusick says this tool gives them a peek inside a growing problem. In Spokane, Eric Loney, KXY4 HD News.